Rika with Spoiled Yogi, and this is Annabelle. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> and what's your name? Sylvia. Sylvia, Annabelle, how old are you? Seven, and I'm going to be eight next month. Annabelle will be eight next month. I'm going to talk a little bit louder. And Sylvia, how old are you? Three. Three. So I am so excited to be back with you guys again today. I hope that you're all doing really well and having lots of fun at home doing schoolwork and all the other things that you're doing. I know Annabelle's been doing lots of schoolwork this morning. I have only one slideshow that my teacher made left and I think there's like four things on each slideshow. She's, so. she's making good headway today yeah and it's still morning so. and it's still morning so <laughs> so while we've been in the house we've been reading a lot of books and i'm guessing that you have been too and one of our favorite things to read about are animals yeah um annabelle is quite the animal expert yes. yeah um i have a big giant animal book and all my friends in my class call me the animal Expert. The animal expert. So today we're going to be doing some, some a song about a book, only we'll do it yoga style, and we'll do some animals too. Does that sound good? Yeah. So we'll do some favorite animals and some Scary. books. So this is one of my favorite little yoga songs to do. I'm going to change the camera a bit. Thank you for the like, whoever that was. <laughs> I'm going to change the camera. We're going to Scoot back just a little bit and sit with your feet close together and your knees wide apart. So kind of like a kind of like a butterfly. So yeah, if you want to be in the video, come a little closer to mommy. I don't need to be on my mat. Okay, this is a song that's really by it's by an artist called Lori Berkner, and I love her. And so if you love this, we're gonna put the description, the link to her page in the description below, and you can check out the rest of her work too. But here's the yoga version, okay? So this is our book. These are the pages we can close the book and open the book, right? You can also use your feet as a book. So you put your thumbs into your arches and you can open the book and close the book, okay? Um, sound good? Let's do a big inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. And exhale, go to one side. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, go to the other side. Inhale, come through center. And we'll just come to sit up big and tall. Are we ready? Get out your glasses and put them on. Look at, your, look at each other. Make a funny face. And we go, these are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and whoop, close up the book. Okay, are we ready? We're going to open our book now, okay? Open our book. Oh no, there's a green alligator in our book. Close that book. <laughs> okay, open the book. Oh no, it's a purple elephant. Close that book. <laughs> okay, open that book. Oh no, it's a, what is it? A bat, a blue bat. Close that book. <laughs> okay, open it up again. Get out your glasses. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and whoop, close up the book. <laughs> okay, let's make ourselves into the animals that we found in our book. Sound good? You remember what they were? Um, I remember the vampire bat. A bat. Annabelle's, one of Annabelle's favorites is a vampire bat. <laughs> so here's one of the things bats do is they hang upside down, right? And, the, and vampire bats have special ability to... And they can balance on their thumbs. So we're going to do the hang upside down version, okay? So stand up on your mat. Bring your feet wide apart. 
Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, hang down. Okay, grab onto your opposite elbows and just hang here like that. <laughs> Maybe you crawl through mommy's legs. That's Sylvia's favorite part. Or you can use I'm your hands on your chest. Oh, you're a baby bat. You could put your hands on your chest like you're Oh, and then you're like holding your wings in? Yeah. Okay. Interlace your hands behind your back and reach your arms out and overhead. We'll make our wings come above us now. And I like to bring my, my hands over to one side. My, my hands are my hands. And then to the other side. My 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 hands and my uh my hands and my uh my uh my arm. My arm is in Your arms are what's what's no, no singing. Okay. Come back to to sit down. Okay. What was our next animal? A kangaroo. It was not a kangaroo. <laughs> it was Sylvia's favorite animal. What's your favorite animal? An uh, elephant. An elephant. So elephants are pretty fun. They have these big, big feet and, and legs. And they have this trunk that's really long and goes out, right? So we're going to be an elephant trunk, which means that we're going to stand and be upside down again. So stand up. This is the elephant trunk. Stand up. Strong, strong legs. Elephant stomp. They go stomp, stomp, stomp. Okay, that's good stomping. And then grab onto your el um, elbows again. And you sway from side to side. Let your head hang. And let your arms hang. You can even bring your hands down to the floor. I'm a baby elephant. And here, look at my baby elephant. Where's your trunk? <laughs> That's a nose. Where's your elephant trunk? <laughs> Good. Keep your trunk down. Keep your head down and your torso down and make your elephant wings. Out to the side. And out to the side. Ooh, because they kind of flap their wing, their um, ears like wings, don't they? Yeah, to cool off, but they can't hear very well. But they can't hear very well. Animal okay. All right. Sit back down. <laughs> now the third animal that we said was one of my favorite animals, and we see oh, them. Wait, next one. We see them a lot here uh, in uh, South Carolina. Your favorite animal. I said your favorite animal. Tell me what. I told you just. Yes, and then we'll do we'll do another one of your favorite animals next, okay? And so for a alligator, you're gonna lay them on your belly. I don't know the alligators were your favorite animal. I like alligators. Did you know in Hanahan, where we live in South Carolina, there was an orange alligator? For I know. Remember that? Okay, so the alligator, Sylvia, can you lay down on mommy's back and grab onto my shoulder so you don't fall? Okay, so alligators stay low to the ground and they go Mama, forward. At the end of the episode, can I share my Sylvia? Because we're, we're not talking right now, we're doing yoga. Okay. Yes. Okay, forward and forward and forward and forward and forward. Okay. <laughs> and then when you, when you get up, here's what alligators do. Have one hand at the bottom, one hand on top, and go chomp, chomp. I'm going to go back so that they can see. Oh, okay. And Bo wants to go backwards. Or you can have your teeth. Chomp, chomp. Oh, yeah, you can do teeth. Switch sides and do it the other way. Chomp. Out. Chomp. Out. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> okay, bring up your like your little alligator tail and sway it from side to side. <laughs> alligators don't really lift their tails up like this, but it's kind of fun to do. <laughs> oh yeah, wiggle your hips, wiggle your hips, wiggle your tail. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, come back to your mat. All right, get off, please. Get off. Annabelle, come back to your mat and sit down. All right, we're gonna do a few more animals. So let's get our let's get our books ready. Okay, come sit down, Sylvia. All right, we're gonna do one each of our favorite animals again. So Sylvia wants to do a pony. Annabelle wants to do a dolphin. And I think I would like to 
do a lizard. So another animal that we see a whole lot here in South Carolina. In fact, a couple days ago, I got no talking. No okay, sit down. Are we ready? Oh, okay, Sylvia's gonna do it with me. So put your feet together and your knees wide. You ever do this like a butterfly? We can do a butterfly too. Okay, we've got our book. Put your knees together. And, oh, and Emma's gonna do her book this way. Okay, that's fine. Are we ready? Get out your yoga goggles. Put them on your face. And we say, these are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, read, read. And I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and look at the book. Oh, no, there's a Sylvia inside my book. Close my book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Open that book. Oh no, there's a pink pony in that book. Close that book. <laughs> okay, what was your animal? Oh. oh, what color is it? Purple. Okay, open up that book. <gasps> oh no, there's a purple dolphin inside of our book. Close that book. <laughs> My favorite animal is a pony. A pony, okay. You already did that. Okay, let's open up the book. Open up the book. Oh, oh no, it's a... What color? What color should my lizard be? Red. <laughs> it's a, there's a red lizard in that, in that book. Who closed that book? <laughs> Mommy's try not to squish your kids when you close your book, okay? <laughs> All right, and we'll sing it again. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and what knows up the book. Yay, okay, let's see our animals. Are we ready? For our pony. Okay, pony. A pink pony. Come on, hands and knees. No, My Oh, it's okay. Sylvia has changed her mind. It is now a red pony. And mommy, so come on and hit the knees. Okay, if you're a little one and your mommy says it's okay, you can totally ride the pony. Sylvia, come on and ride. <laughs> or you could, yeah, okay. Sylvia, come on. All right, so here's the pony. Sylvia. What do ponies do? Sylvia, they, no talking. Ponies okay. stomp their feet sometimes too. Okay, Sylvia's gonna ride the pony. Okay, they go sit back and they go. <laughs> Can you do that, Emma? So sit back on your heels and you lock your feet and go. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're in it. Okay, you know what else ponies do? Come on to hands and knees. Hands and knees, please. Ponies wag their tails, they sway their tails from side to side. To get the bugs off. Yeah, to get the bugs off. So they go, a boom. Swish, swish. Is Sylvia's foot your tail? Swish. Yeah, Sylvia's foot might be my ponytail. <laughs> swish, 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 swish. Okay, and then you know what else I like to do that ponies do? You take a big breath in through your nose. And then when you breathe out, you go. <laughs> okay, let's do that two more times. Breathe in. Yeah, breathe in. <laughs> okay, one more time. Breathe in through your nose. Oh. <laughs> okay, come back to your mat, Annabelle. All right, what was your animal? A dolphin. Okay, so Sylvia, you have to get down and get on your own mat. Annabelle, come to your mat with one of the hands and knees. So a yoga I'm dolphin. A, I'm a baby dolphin. You're a baby dolphin. Okay, a yoga dolphin, you put your hands down on your mat and you put your forearms down on your mat. Maybe you bring your hands together and interlace the hands, okay? And then you tuck your toes under like this and then you start to lift your hips up and walk your feet in, just like a dolphin hopping over the waves. Straighten your legs though. I can't. <laughs> then, then step them back just a little bit more. Okay, and then you walk your feet back, so you come into kind of a plank, so this is the dolphin under the water. Look forward, press down to those forearms, and then exhale, lift your hips up and back, walk your feet in. This is the jump, the leaping out of the water dolphin. <laughs> Keep your head on the floor, okay, walk your feet back. Let's do it one more time. Look forward, strong, strong bellies. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> Look up in that. Splash. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's all 
splash, just plop down into the, into the ocean. Still be able to move back to your mat, please. Put your head down and rest for just a second. <sighs> okay, sit down, please. Sylvia, back onto your mat, please. Okay, what was our last one? Lizard. Pink lizard. A pink lizard. So here's how we're going to do a lizard pose. Are you ready? We start on hands and knees again. I'm a baby lizard. Okay, I have a baby lizard. Bring your thumbs to touch under your nose. And step one of your feet forward, forward, forward to the outside of your pinky. Good. And then for a lizard, you know, you know lizard. those lizards that we have on our porch, Annabelle, where they have the like, where they're green and they have like this um, red thing that comes down? That's for mating. Oh, it's for mating. And sometimes we do this. <laughs> this my life is and, they look, and they look really funny. Oh yes, and you can lift your tail up by tucking your back leg, your back toes under, and straightening your back ah! leg. But I, like <laughs> have my tail on the ground. Oh, Annabelle wants her tail on the ground. It's fine. You can do it either way, my and then tail, you can stay here tail, and just reach through your back heel. My, tail, my um, bring your chest forward. Mommy, this is uh -uh, no talking. And then you can maybe go down and up, down and up. Just like those weird lizards on our porch. Okay, this let's try me. this. Keep your hands on the floor and step your foot off to the side and come back to plank. Good, bring your knees down. Bring your thumbs to touch and step your other foot forward. So we'll just do the other and, side. And, 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 and. <laughs> Okay, bring your other foot all the way forward, Annabelle. Out, out, I think out, it's the other out, one, but it's going to be to the out, outside of your hands. Out, 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 out. Yep. Okay. Now, now out. And you can widen your hands out. You can widen your hands out if you'd like to. And we can do that weird thing that the lizards on our porch do. There you go. Down and up. And down Mommy, and up. This is my throat. Okay. Down and up. And then maybe you straighten out your tail back there, tuck your toes under, lift the back leg, lift your chest, and then same thing, down, and up, and down, and up. And up. <laughs> maybe you stick out your tongue like the, the lizard's Mommy, <laughs> Okay, come back down. That's your tail. I like it. Okay, come back to hands and knees. And then sit down on your heels. Sit down on your bottom. Cross your legs. Show me how. Okay, not yet. All right, let's get out our goggles again. Can you bring out your yoga goggles? And put them on. They're all different ways to do goggles. Okay, I'm losing my audience. I've got my goggles. Good. Bring your goggles. Bring them down to your hands. Okay? And we're going to practice a little... Um, this is like a little mantra, a little saying that we like to say. You gonna do it with me? Okay. So if you have a really little one, um, we're gonna repeat piece begins with me, and your hands are like this, and we'll do thumb to index finger, thumb to middle finger, thumb to ring finger, and thumb to pinky finger. Piece begins with me. If you have a little one, maybe it's just thumb. To index finger, piece begins with and a little yeah. owl. Or some of them may just do with pass. Piece begins with. Okay, we're just gonna do it. And a little owl. And an owl too. Okay, we're just gonna do it a couple times. So are we ready to go? We have to take a big breath in through your nose. Bring your yoga goggles down to your um, knees. And we'll go. Piece begins with me. Good. We'll do it again. Big breath in. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. And then you might do it a little quieter, so we'll whisper it. Peace begins with me. Let's do it again. Peace begins with me. And then the last time we'll do like just in our head, okay? <laughs> Sylvia, come sit down. Just in our head, so we think it up here. <laughs> so anyway, don't throw that out. <laughs> Fine. This is 
something that you can do if you start to feel a little bit nervous or a little bit stressed out about just being in your house all the time with all kinds of crazy things going on outside all around you. You can always take a deep breath in and come back to that idea. Peace begins with me, right? Because it really does. It's about how you feel right inside your head. Yeah. So that's it for our lesson today. That's it for our lesson today. I think we should do our goodbye song, and we will come back again tomorrow for another little lesson. Okay? So, okay, Annabelle wants to show you her owl. Sit down, please. And I want to show you baby. Sit down, please. Okay, sit down, please. All right, we're going to say our goodbye songs. So this song says, goodbye, mommies, goodbye, kids. We're glad you came to play. We're glad you came to play. The light in me is the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, are we ready? Goodbye, mommies. Goodbye, kids. We're glad you came to play. We're glad you came to play. The light in me is the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with us. Keep meditating and stay healthy. <laughs> Keep meditating and stay healthy. Take a few minutes to let us know whether it's in the chat or in the comments below on this video or over on our Facebook page, which is at Spoiled Yogi. Let us know what your favorite animal is. Let us know if you practiced along with us and what your favorite part of it was. Because we really want to hear from you and we also want to make sure that you, um, that we're tailoring this practice to you and giving you what you need. So, let her go. <laughs> so let us know what you'd like to see more of, what worked, what your favorite animal is. Okay, sit down. And we'll see you next time. Okay, I gotta turn off the video. Please get off. Nope.